Again with developing news in Garden Grove where an elderly man has been killed at his home. The suspect believed to be a transient was captured by residents. KTLA 5's Alina Abovian is in Garden Grove with more. Alina. Hi there, guys. Well, a very tragic story. We actually just spoke to the victim's family, his two sons, and both are absolutely heartbroken over what happened to their father. Take a look behind me. This is the apartment in question. The victim lived here with his son, 87-year-old Chuang Pham. Take a look. This is his photo. He's lived in this neighborhood for 20 years. His son telling us that everyone knew him. He was a quiet man who liked to take long walks and was very friendly with everyone. Yesterday evening, the suspect some Somehow made it into the apartment while the victim was home alone. We have video of their encounter and you can see the suspect in this short clip with the red shirt. In this video, you can see him talking to the elderly man walking around the apartment. At some point, they end up in the bedroom and according to the son, the suspect ties the father up using a telephone cable. And another bizarre detail here, the victim's phone rings. At some point, the suspect picks up the phone via FaceTime and that's how the family was alerted that an intruder was inside the house. Now, according to the son, the suspect uh, was seen in the video rummaging through the door, so it's possible this was a burglary in progress. The son rushed home and found the suspect still in the house. We believe he was inside with the victim for about an hour. The son, along with other residents, then held down the suspect until police arrived. Officers later found the victim, 87-year-old Chuang Pham, badly beaten in the bedroom and unresponsive. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. I hear that some and the, the homeless has some maybe drug, alcohol, but I don't know. He say the grandpa is on the lap. Almost Grabbed gone. him by the neck? Yeah, it's like kill. Grandpa, grandpa was always grandpa. walk his morning and night. And then last night, there's a problem. It's happening. Some I don't know how they're killed. I don't I don't see, but I hear they. I'm sorry about him. Yeah. Poor thing. Yeah, pretty upset. Now, it's still unclear what the motive was in this case. The family telling us they've never seen this person before. According to police, this may have been an attempted burglary. As for the suspect, he was taken into custody yesterday by Garden Grove Police. His name is um, Mario Brancato, 26 years old. That's the very latest. I'm Lena Bovin here in Garden Grove, KTLA 5 News.